Okay, let's do the word druid now. So, the simplest possible way to combine these words, D, R, U, I, let's get rid of that, D. It looks okay in its original version, I'm not a... This, you should try to make sure that it points enough that, that it clearly enters the I cup. Um, let's see what we can do with it. Well, first of all, the DR combination, you, you, just, you can draw it quickly. And then we've got RU is simple. UI, okay. Well, there's a couple things we could do here. We could try putting the I inside of the U like so. You kind of just draw a circle and leave it at the top empty, just to make sure that you're never ambiguous with the V. You've got to make clear that it's curved. That works. Or, as you can see, when you put an, a U in an I like so, you can also connect all the way up to the points close it basically as you can see the eye is not is not complete if you were to pull that out it's still missing its section it's just connecting directly to the letter above it it takes a little bit more um, finesse to pull this one off cleanly but if you pull it off it looks quite nice um, as long as there's that missing pie piece you know the next letter is an eye um, and one other combination we have is when we have an eye we can put a D to the bottom of it or we can just draw it straight along the side like that Or, sorry, you could also just draw it like so. Draw the, uh, the D through the I. It can go up to any point, as long as the preceding letter ends, empty space, and then ID. Sequence is very clear in that way. So, D, R, U. We could try putting it inside. I, D. We now gain access to UD combinations, and UD can be like so. So you could even pull that up inside of there as high as you like move those around and scale them as much as you want. We've also got D, R, U, I, and then this D can start from all the way down there to removing a line, putting it straight across the bottom, all the way up to even coming through the I. So those are all, those are some of the, the main options we have at our disposal. Um, Druid it has a few more flexibilities, but we'll stay away from that for now. We'll stick with double combinations. So. Let's try to make a nice character emblem or like a symbol or glyph. D R U I. Oh, let's just make our eye bigger. I D. Not bad, I kinda like it. It's hard to see it nicely with that stupid border of the same color on there. But as you can see, it came out quite nice. Um, there's a whole lot more you can do with it. And then, of course, when you start using calligraphy brushes and pens, you can make the lines thicker or thinner. Um, we could also try angling it, like so. That works. Um, any angle you like. You can twist, contort as much as you like, just as long as you can still recognize the original shape. 